What is going on friends? Welcome back to another video. Now today, if you didn't watch the last video, we surprised Hector with a trailer. It's all yours, man. Really? We are getting baby turtles. Just like that little soft show right there, but a bunch of them. Now by a bunch, I don't know how many we're gonna get. Kinda just what interests me when I get to the pet store. I am super excited, and I just wanna say thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video, because without them, this right here wouldn't be possible. More on them later though. We are going to have an epic day. We built this last video, if you're not familiar. I mean, go watch it. Go watch that video, check it out. This came out amazing. And I actually had to take this out because I learned that cement blocks, these blocks right here, actually spike pH. So I didn't want that to happen. I took it out, tested the pH, and it was the 7.6, so we're good for now, but I do need to soak this prior to putting it in here. I wanna show you how clean all these tanks are. Look at this, this is just insane how good these corals are doing. As you can see, that one's doing phenomenal. That one is too. Tommy actually brought these cool little snails over that he said will help keep that algae level down. Hello, Nemo, and Nemo 2 in the back there. Axolotl is big and happy, ready to eat as always. You know the beta tank, we cleaned that. We also cleaned this entire big beta tank. The lights off looks a lot better. So clean. Plants in here. You know, maybe we'll get some today, maybe. Check this out, in the corner of my beta tank, there's a lot of betas and they are all brothers and sisters, but there's a bubble nest right there. And typically, if you've ever seen a beta breed, it's really, really cool how they breed. It's crazy. They'll come up and literally put the eggs like in the bubble. It's, it's nuts. Now, I don't know if that's just bubbles from this filter just pushing them over here, or if that is a bubble nest. Who knows, but that'd be weird. That, that'd be inbred, actually. This is insane though. This was getting dark, it had an algae bloom. An algae bloom is when just the tank just takes over with algae. And let me tell you, this guy looks stoked that his tank is all clean. As you can see, everything is clean. We cleaned the whole thing, and the UV sterilizer is inside, which is gonna prevent that from happening again. Oh my gosh, you're coming out. Hi, hi. And probably everyone thinks you're, you're dead. He's not, he's still alive. He just sits behind this log. I almost want to take the log out, but I feel like that gives them comfort, so I don't want to do that. But this big old tank looks like nothing's in it always. It just You just see my reflection. Howdy, partner. Look at all these cichlids in clean tank. I also over here, the 1,000 gallon pond now has a lid on it. I cut the ridges out that I needed to make to get these pumps out from the filter underneath, and I actually glued rock. Bruh. I guess I didn't glue them good enough. Um, that, yeah, these other ones. Bruh. I guess I didn't glue them good enough, but it looks good. It looks a lot better than it would without those rocks there, and you just see the holes around the tubing. Thousand gallon pond, though, has just been cycling away here, literally. So, again, I've been asking you the last couple of videos, what do you want to see me put in the thousand gallon pond? I see a lot of suggestions, but just keep spitting suggestions at me down in the comments down below. You see this pond right here, though? We built this epic thing last video. Roll the clips. <laughs> This thing came out absolutely amazing. Could not be happy with the outcome. As always, it matches the 1,000 gallon pond. As you can see, look, 120 gallon turtle tank right there, and then boom, pond. So today, we're going to get turtles for this. But before that, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Trade. Are you ready to level up your morning and find your new favorite coffee with Trade? Trade makes it super easy to find the coffees you love without being an expert. With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's best local roasters. Trade matches you with your own personal selection of coffee and ships straight from the roastery at peak freshness. Now how Trade works is step one, you take the quiz. Answer questions about how you like your coffee and Trade will curate matches just for you. Step two, to your door. Choose your delivery frequency and it'll appear at your doorstep. Delivered at peak freshness so you never have to run out again. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate your matches so Trade can continue to delight you with coffees you'll love. Trade uses this compostable packaging, making you feel earth friendly one coffee bag at a time. One of my favorite things about Trade, it is a local business. Uh, this one's favorite thing about Trade is coffee. 
That's a fact. The first thing she says every morning is the word coffee, so. Now Trade guarantees you will love your first bag of coffee, and if you don't, they will ship a different bag for free. Now my viewers are gonna get their first bag of coffee for free using the links down below. Click it, take the quiz. Shipping's also free. You can't beat this. What do you say? Let's make some coffee. We have three different blends here, light roast, medium roast, and dark roast. It's taste test time! Mm. Good? Oh, so good. Cheers! <laughs> Fantastic. Funky chicken. That's actually really good. Unique ingredients. I feel like it would be very interesting. Different and delicious. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you so much, Trade, for sponsoring today's video. Now use my exclusive link down in the description down below to get your first bag from Trade Coffee for free. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Woo! We are here at the aquarium shop and I'm heading to the back tank because I see something that I really like and love. Oh my goodness, look at all these Oscars. Look at these tiger Oscars. I mean, they're just chilling. We got one, two, three, and if we come over here, there's even two more. Look how pretty that is. Such a beautiful fish, so much personality. We have a bunch of those at home, of course. We take in a lot of those uh, from people that have grown too big for their tanks or whatever the case may be. We always have those coming in from people texting me. But we're here, we're at the pet store and we're getting a couple different things. Check this saltwater tank out. Look at this thing. Every time I come here, it amazes me. These fish get bigger, the corals grow. So dope, inspiring. Okay, I'm going to do, these are only three bucks a piece. I'll just do the whole row. Yeah. Please. A couple, of, yeah, a couple of those, maybe like three of those and three of those. You got it. Perfect. Bunch of live plants, Caferos. This is for the beta fish tank. We need a lot of plants, so we just got the whole row of these suckers. And what are these called? Hygro. Sold you out on the hygros. <laughs> whole lot of plants and then for the front I'm doing three of these little ones right here got all the live plants right here lots of them lots of them but that's not all we're getting while we're here today we are walking to the back oh by the way look kind of crazy these are the vines that I put above the turtle pond right here see them growing around the light be ready for that those things are gonna grow into the water and actually become a big part of the filtration look at all these guppies Got garamis up here, platies, my favorite fish on planet Earth, right there, platy. I love them, they breed like crazy, they're colorful, can't beat them, platies, top notch. Angelfish, a tank full of angelfish. Now, I'm not sure how the heck they do that because anytime I've ever put angelfish together, they fight until they die. Neon tetras, more platies, angelfish, let's see. Look at these little guys. Hey, buddies, whoa. Oh yeah, look at all these Oscars. Oh my gosh, look at them. That is probably the largest Clownfish I've ever seen. That thing is massive. It's quite literally the size of like half my hand. Look at that. I've always wanted a tank with one of these things. A little yellow tang. Oh my gosh, maybe not. I didn't know they were that much money. $200 for that thing. For that. Meanwhile, I just bought an albino turtle smaller than that for 200. I don't know what I'm talking about, but all right. Oh, look at this. Blends right in. Panther grouper. One of my dreams has always been to have a predatory saltwater tank. Have yet to do it, still have yet to do it. Now that we've seen pretty much everything around the store, I mean, there's of course snakes. There's snakes and more snakes. We got little chameleons and stuff like that. Look at this guy, he's like, what are you looking at? But otherwise, we've seen pretty much everything. So, without further ado, let's buy some turtles. Look at these little pancakes here. We are just here from last time we were here about the albino, which, Will your boy send another albino? I don't know. <laughs> Look at all the little yellow bellies. I know for a fact I want to do a snapping turtle. That's for a fact. There's also this weird turtle that's about to go in right now. I'm not sure what it is. I don't exactly know what it is. But the fact that I don't know what it is, I'm about to find that out and then buy it because I like when I don't know what things are. It's something new to have in the pond. So we're probably gonna get that guy, one of the snapping turtles, and these snapping turtles are pretty big. Same with that one, they're big. So yeah, just a variety of turtles, and I might even send another albino. I mean, if you guys wanna see me do it, just smash the like button. If this video gets 20,000 likes, well, no, we're not gonna come back, I'm just gonna buy it now. Smash the like button for me. With the nicer pattern. Okay. What is that turtle right there? Oh, he is the uh, the white throat, right-footed mud turtle. 
white-throated mud turtle. Cool, we're gonna do that one. And then a snapping turtle. Preferably the big one laying down with the, with the mud turtle. Racking up the bill here, man. <sighs> Look at this thing, what is this? A turtle topper. Oh, you put it on top of the tank and they can like go in it and bask. That's weird. Huh, cool, oh look, a turtle log. Look how big that turtle dock is down there. Huge, just like the size of two of my shoes. She is grabbing some of the turtles now. Same old same, looks like they're just getting abducted out of the tank, just whoop, gone. And then over here, I believe we got our albino that's about to get scooped. There is our albino turtle. We just got that thing. Goodbye, brother. And it's gone. All checked out, got everything, but the weather's not looking so swell out there. <sighs> Gotta love Florida. Let me tell you, this never stops. All right, we are at the fish room, and look, the soft shell's up on the bank. The little albino just jumped in. Finally, finally got live plants. I told you, Kefaros, I was gonna do it eventually. Look at all those live plants. Oh, yeah. Still got more, by the way. The best part is they're beta fish. They're not gonna be like Oscars and stuff where they're bumping the plants constantly and pulling them out of the gravel. It's really gonna look amazing and stay amazing. I think I bought literally just the right amount. I mean, we got one back there. We have one in front here. Up top, I got one to stick into the wood. I literally bought all these plants from the store just to do that one back row right there and then a couple bushy ones up here but these betas as you can see they're already stoked look at them swimming around all the plants if i turn the lights on a bit of a glare but you can see how good it looks i mean things are coming together here look at that we did it live plants are in the beta tank but you know what time it is it's time to get this wave maker in so that we can then put our new baby turtles in wave maker That is so satisfying. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Thanks, it was my first time making it. I didn't even add the broccoli. Is it good? It's really good. Really? Yeah. Okay, enjoy. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. That's a miracle. That might be the first meal I've ever gotten from her. Check out the wave maker now. It's not much, but it's something. It's a little flow, as you can see, and I have the wires going up. I didn't want to get too much flow because I don't want the turtles to be flying around in circles. Guess what? It's time to get everything out. Look at all these little things. Look at them all. And you haven't came out of your shell once. For some reason, the albinos are super, like, finicky, very shy. Let's start with these two, and we're gonna go on and on to the bigger and better ones. These are the most beautiful yellow bellies I've ever seen. I asked her to get me like the coolest colored ones she could find. Look at the pattern on those things. Just how cute they are. Oh, into the water you go. What about you? You're just vibing? His buddy's over here, but I think, look at the color on him. He's like a bluish green. So pretty, but his buddy's like, I see you. I'm coming. Whoa. <laughs> now that is two of our turtles. We still have one. Two, that was a cool flip, and three, the albino to finish it off. So we're gonna get our snapping turtle in, our biggest, I'm trying to crawl out right now. No, 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 they're so str Oh, he's getting aggressive. Oh, there you go. See you later, bud. Here we are. Oh, foot stuck. I have never seen one of these, at least not that I know of. Look at that thing, super beautiful. I saw it last time I was there and I didn't get it. This time I did. Our biggest turtle in this pond. And there you are. Oh gosh, they don't hesitate. They really do not hesitate. He's just floating, chilling. There he goes, goodbye buddy. <laughs> they have so much place to swim. They're all just kind of piled up, hanging out in the back over there. But now we have a mud turtle both yellow bellies and a common snapping turtle all into the pond as of today. This right here, we already got one of, is not a cheap turtle. This thing's expensive. They go for about $180 at this size. 
It's an Albano Readier slider. Do you see the size comparison? This is the first one we bought, this is the second one we bought, and maybe this is a male and this is a female, and later on in life we have some babies, who knows? We are about to put in our last turtle. Look at our snapping turtle, just kind of like vibing. He's just hanging out in the wood. Swim, buddy, swim. There you go. Good looking turtle, dude, right there. That is a good looking turtle. See ya, buddy. Lots to explore, that's for sure. Lots to explore. We got live plants for the beta tank. We got a wave maker in the back over there and new turtles for the pond. You're lucky you're cute. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna name him Trade because without Trade, we wouldn't have been able to do this today. There you go, bud. Hey, and I'm gonna name you Coffee, all right? If you guys have any cool names for the rest of the turtles, please do drop the names down in the comments down below. Comment some cool names for our turtles. This is uh, just the beginning. Just the beginning of this pond. I want to eventually get some really, really cool stuff for this. Maybe even more expensive turtles. Woohoo! We got a mixture between pellets and corn. We are at the farm to finish off today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I loaded up on a little bit extra food, but this time I got a little treat for the pigs. You know they love their corn. I got a little bag of corn that I'm gonna mix into everyone's food. That's the pig that might be pregnant right there. I don't know if she is or not. The vet said it's quite possible. And the nipples on her are getting a little big, so we'll see. We don't know. That's why you gotta subscribe so that if stuff like that happens out of the blue, I'm just gonna upload a video that's gonna say baby pigs and you're not gonna be watching it if you're not subscribed, so subscribe. He really is ruthless when it comes to food. And there they all go, and the white balance on my camera is completely bright. Woo! -hoo. We got goat food here, and it is the pig food. And we're gonna mix a little bit of corn into there. Look at all that corn. Oh yeah, that looks tasty. Don't you wanna just Bam! The big pigs are gonna be stoked that there's a little bit of corn in their meal today because these guys love that. Hey, look at Mango in the back. This time of year, these mud pits right here keep these pigs extremely cool. Buckets. Oh, Lily! Hi, Lulu. Hi, Buttercup. What are you doing? Dude, listen to you guys. Just eating away. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did go on to enjoy, please do drop a like. Join the family, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We got turtles for the mini pond. I couldn't be happier. Again, thank you so much, Trade, for sponsoring today's video. Go check out those links down below. And without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace!